The disappearing man kept fading in and out, my mind's defenses on high alert, standing at attention for the presence of his non-presence. I tried to dream last night, but I couldn't drift that far. The midnight oil smelled rancid, and the fumes choked thoughts awake. I must have bled a thousand words, some on canvas, some on stage, but the constant cutting lost its appeal as blood no longer ran. The white cells invaded in formation, and my mind and body declared martial law. Its army scaled my borders to scab and guard all openings in attempts to prevent infection. So I stole away in detour from one world within my galaxy to many galaxies within one universe to see if I could track a trace of the disappearing man. Elusive he is. Cautious, black, lone wolf. But I did find crumbs and droppings, so I took a closer look. I will call it admiration because that's the closest word I have. I realized on this quest that our signatures are so similar. We both glide carefully throughout space, covered, screened, and cloaked, taking care to not reveal too much, but showing just enough flesh to prove that we are both human. We both shoot in the same trajectory towards almost dead and dying rocks. We both tread softly along their surfaces to encourage and renew hope. We show them that within their cores are the molecules and atoms for the makings of a star. And though it seems so dark in space, we show those rocks that they are not alone. So last night, I could not find dreams, but adoration, esteem, appreciation, and deep respect were all my night's companions. As I moved from one world through one galaxy to the next, then through one universe and back to me, trailing the disappearing man.